Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here and welcome back to all the mods 9. Uh, I've been running around the uh, the nether, I grabbed my structure compass, uh, or the nature's compass, or whichever one it was, structure, sorry, um, and set it up to look for bastions and I found a few of these smithing templates so far. So we can use them to uh, to make our tools a bit better. So if I go vibranium jazz. Uh, nope, nothing has gone through the system yet. I'm currently duplicating it all, so it's here. Uh, so once it makes it through the system here, we'll have a lot more ingots. I have turned off uh, copper going in here because, quite honestly, I got a bit of copper. 18,000 odd or whatever it is there, and tin's probably next. So, you know, it's quite a number of ingots that I maybe don't need. Um to process through like this. Uh, I'm not, I can't remember, do I have copper as a, I do. So I've got a thousand copper essence too, so maybe there's a bit where it's not, maybe not worth running it through there for duplication. The other thing I can do is this, is convert it into blocks. Um, and instead of running the blocks through here, which if I grab this out for example, uh, I'll leave I'll leave the crimson in there and the platinum, but let's say the aluminium and, and the copper. I can drop it in here and it converts it into blocks. Like it's, yes, there's no duplication here. It's just speed more than anything. We can, you know, process through some stuff pretty quick. Uh, this episode, I'd like to get into um, a bit of industrial foregoing, <coughs> get a little system set up, probably downstairs, and um, start. You know, working towards getting the ability to extract enchantments from our tools so that then I can push them into here as well and we can, you know, be able to put whatever we want onto a tool, which I think would be a really handy, uh, handy thing to have right about now. Uh, so let's jump in. Let's start by making a crafting grid. And I make a crafting grid really quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to have to jump up and down and like go. Crafting grid, please. Uh, what do I have? And make most of that. There's a grid. Long, there we go. Okay, crafting grid. Cool. Let's just drop downstairs. I'm just going to pop this guy here. So at least we've got access to our system on this next level. So we've got a few things te teed up here. Um, need a, a block placer, but I don't see one at this point. Um, I'm sure there is a, a basic one in here, but I'm going to get to the point where I'll just use uh, one of industrial foregoing. So industrial... Uh, so there's a bunch of things here, but I've got the basics here at the moment. We want to start with uh, some fluid extractors and latex processing units, etc. So, first things first. I think we're good. So, fluid extractors. We're going to need to set up um, some of these guys. Let's grab eight of them for the moment. Because I'm going to need at least four of these. So let's make... Or weighted pressure plates. One. Four of them. And then we're going to want... We're going for latex, right? The latex from the fluid extractors. Uh, Acacia is the best one. I think. Double check. Yeah, Acacia is the best one. Pretty, did I set up... I don't remember if I set up an acacia one of these. I should if I haven't. Alright, we'll, we'll we'll do that. I believe I've got a couple of thousand. I must have set one up if I've got two thousand exactly, right? There we go. I do have one set up. Excellent. So we need to set aside a little area. I'm going to need to bring power here eventually. But what I will have is a block placer underneath, and then we'll put the log here, and then a 
you can see they're already doing their thing. That one's turned the wrong way. Can I turn you with this wrench? I can. How do I know which way's front? Ugh. Okay, so yeah, just one more. That should be. Oh, hang on. That should be facing it. And we should see latex going in here. Yes. All right, so they're now, now all attracting latex. I'll put a block placer here and have it uh, get acacia logs into it. Because you can see here it's starting to destroy the block and they're all getting a little bit of latex. Cool. All right, next thing we need. Now let's get rid of that guy. Let's do the latex processing unit. We're going to need a couple of buckets. Make sure I don't put them in the system or one of the villagers will say, I want your buckets. Uh, one of these. And then we're going to need some pipes. Do I have some pipes in my backpack? No, that's item. I want fluid. Okay. And we are going to want to extract... I want to start if I want to put it into a tank, or whether I just put, yeah, let's, let's put it in a tank. Uh, tank. That'll do. I'll pop him there, and then... with this wrench. These work faster if you power them. Okay, so we've got latex going into that tank. Then we want to process that latex. So let's get... I want to do this without it connecting would be nice. We'll bring this over. I'm gonna need some more of these pipes. And let's put our processing unit there. It's also gonna need water and power. So we do have water here. I reckon we need to come up with a way of uh, exporting water. I think we can get power underneath some more pipes. Yeah, energy pipes. I would I'd like to go to wireless power. I really do. Um, we're gonna need to do that very shortly. So the idea will be that out of there we will get, um, you know what, let's just make another sink. <laughs> because I can sink. I want to you bucket the water Think. Boom. Okay, so it's got water. And once I get up here and do this, it should have a latex. Cool. Latex and water. Just needs some power. And that will turn this latex into uh latex latex uses of latex no not in there there's a few things we can use latex for you i'll turn it oh it's not even showing me that 
Come on. Turns into dry rubber. I don't know why it was being silly. Uh, and then uses of dry rubber is used in a bunch of stuff here. Or you can smelt it into plastic sheets, which is what we're going to need. So that's the latex processing unit. And then we're also going to need to put it into the dissolution chamber at some point, but uh, we'll, we'll get there soon. So again, as I said, I want to push for the enchantment extractor, which is going to require an advanced machine frame. Which needs pink slime. Pink slime comes from a mob slaughter factory. Mob slaughter factory we can make now once as soon as we get some plastic. So you know, let's quickly do an aside. Uh, act. However, I want to make ender gates. I'm going to need ender core, which means I need capacitor, dielectric casing, and an eye ender. ender. Really? That's what I need. That's it, capacitor. It's a tiny one. Okay, cool. So I'll do this. So that's just to make the starter one, and then we need the ender cell. Needs another one, so I need two of these guys. So let's grab, um, take one of these. And that should be what we need. Let's jump upstairs. Oop, no, that's flying. Oh, wow. That's step assist for you. All right, let's do. Cool. Fairly quick. We've got two of them. And that'll be enough for the, this was just, just an obsidian. And then I think we're also going to need an aerial pearl. So let's, it's, it's been a minute since I, <laughs> I made this. Just a starter and a cell, I guess. What do we get in the next one? It's different. Hardened. Make hardened cables. You know what? You can go straight to hardened. Probably gonna, I was gonna say, probably gonna miss some sort of transition through, an, um, you know, uh, progression through something. But I think if I make some of that. Um, cable. Need to make another couple of energized steel, or just a little bit more of this. Okay. Awesome. All right. So pretty sure. Set these guys up. Let's let's do this. Let's grab. I think of which is the best place to hook this into because uh, it's you know what I don't want to burn through all this power because that's kind of doing its thing 
I'm going to temporarily I know I've got this wireless power too, by the way. Let's do this for the moment. Let's see how this goes. And I put you on here. Do I need to link something? I need to look into how I do the indicate the end of wireless power type thing. In I don't know. Is it getting power? Alright. Alright, give me a moment. Okay, so derpy me knows now that I need to make uh, batteries to get some more um, some more capacity in this system. So let's quickly make I reckon a hardened tier. Probably don't even that. Probably just go with the one I've got now, the starter. So I should be able to hoping I could get out that way. I go in here. Okay, so we can now hold. I went with basic. What did I go with starter? I went with starter. I never made the basic one. Can I pop that back out? Probably not, right? It's fine. It's got one million worth that it can hold, and it's currently filling itself up. I'll come down here. You have power. You are processing. So this guy is now able to get 5,000 for Gen Energy Tick into this thing, which doesn't use that much. And it is currently, once it gets enough latex, which uh, what's the recipe for latex? I don't know. There'll be a there'll be an amount. It's probably a bucket per thing. Uh, so once it makes the dry rubber, we can then convert it. So if we go dry rubber, you can smelt it directly into plastic. If I take this and pop him in here, we got some plastic sheets. So, obviously, next we need to go for, as I said, the mob slaughter factory. I just needed the two plastic. So let's make this mob slaughter factory. We need the pink slime, right? So I need an iron sword. I'll just pop all these things away for the moment. In you go. I'll use your stuff later. Uh, mob slaughter factory. I need an iron axe. And I need a gold gear. Ooh. There we go. There is a mob slaughter factory. Are you out of wood? Nope, still going in there. See, it's still ticking away. All right, so the mob slaughter factory will have a range. So let's just pop him. It's going to be funny. This here, if we go show the working area, we can see that it works here. To do a bigger area, let's go to at industrial again. We need to put cards in it. So I reckon we're plus four in this case. I'm going to need a bucket of latex and a dissolution chamber, which needs some plastic. Cool. So this is our next thing. For me to get this guy to work uh, instead of this, which is part of the plan, I'll probably move him in a touch and sit him like there would be the smartest spot it's i need to be able to get power to him though that's the other downside having him out here is 
probably good. I'll just need to, as I said, do this extra working area. So let's look into that next piece. Another piece of dry rubber. Let's convert it because we do need one more. Plastic. There we go. So we are making a dissolution chamber. Let's go here. So we need two buckets. And diamond gear. Okay. Dissolution chamber coming right up. There we go. All right. This guy. Again, this will come up to a point where I need to have um, latex in both. So if I just pop him here. Actually, actually, actually. Let's not do this. Let's be smarter. Do I have a crafter available? Do. I can. Place that there. Place this here. And then we can set up a recipe to make what we want to make. So, in the case of this, I want to make, let's say, a tier 4. So, tier 4. Again, you got you got to go plus, right? So, this is this is one by one. If I go plus four, it will go one, two, three, four. Do I probably want plus five to do this whole area? One, two, three, four, maybe even plus six. Let's jump upstairs. Again, this is then going to be temporary. And we could probably just do this manually to start with, you know what? Let me turn, turn this off for a second. Still making, oh no, you got a stripped piece of wood here. So that's the other thing we need to do is, um, I need to put a breaker on top here. Um, I will probably rearrange this slightly. Because that stripped log needs to be able to be broken. So I will, um, Make some changes, I believe, because pretty sure the stripped log can't be used. So I need a a placer and a breaker above it, so that when it gets the uh, the stripped, we can rip it out. I may end up using refined storage for that. That's probably the best way. Let's just turn this off. A moment. I need a bucket. I need a bucket worth. So I'll let that run, and you know what? We could probably just put power on it. All right. Um, so what do I need? I need a couple of items here. Um, thinking, thinking out loud. Yeah, let's let's let that catch up to to a bucket worth, and then I'm going to manually make what I need to make here. Oh, come on, Put that there. You can go here for the moment, and you can go like there. Let's see if this will speed up. Yeah, cool. So this has got some power. We are going to set up a. I reckon. We just get plus six. Let's get some gold nuggets, glass panes, and redstone dust. Redstone. Gold. Glass panes. And I need a bucket. Make a bucket. All right, cool. So in here we want uh, two of them, some of them, and some of that. And then all I need is a bucket of latex, which is cracking along quite nicely. Oh, 
I will redesign this in between episodes. Again, this was just a to get things moving along quicker. I will pop that up one. You know what? We should we we'll need to use. Let's go at refined. Can we do the constructor destructor? I think so. Do this. Can you make me some of that, please? Constructor. Be a destructor. Nice. I need some cables. Did I give it the recipe for cables yet? Did. I have some cables, please. And then, smart way of doing this. Here I'm going. I'll do this in between episodes. Nah, let's just do it now. Truck up. Okay, so here. Got a bucket worth. Let's grab that bucket. And in there. And that's making it. Cool. Let's grab this tank out of the way. Want a destructor. Yeah, and you will destruct just stripped cache log. I will rotate that guy, and you will construct just a cache log. Cool. And then all I need to do is get the cable onto these. I will probably. I'm going to change. I think I can change these around to be able to extract from both these sides at once. Should be able to do that, and then we can um, the pipes extracting one side. This we do here and here, for example. Then bring it up. And. Can I do this? And then we can put the tank Excellent And then this, once I connect it up with cape Probably just for now bring it out and around Yes, it's messy. You should be on what? Oh, so it should only break with the case of locks. And then these should have enough time to um, extract what they need. As soon as it becomes a stripped acacia log, it should break it and place another one. Cool. And then we've got uh, latex uh, automation. This should be done. This should give us a plus six tier add range add-on. Pop it in there and let's have a look. Did it, how, how good did I get? I think I, I think I got it. It's a big area that it's working in, but um, it will work in this area and collect uh, these two fluids. So if I turn this on, anything that spawns in here, see here we're getting liquid meat and we're getting some pink slime. So I can turn this off. So the liquid meat and pink slime, two different liquids. Uh, again, they're both useful. I'm going to have to store them in something. I'll work out um, maybe a a fluid storage disk. We can store the two liquids into the system so I can then export. But this pink slime is what we're going to need in order for us to make that, not that one, this guy. Advanced machine frame requires pink slime. Half a bucket worth. Not not tons, but half a bucket. Simple machine frame requires a quarter of a bucket of latex. We can set up recipes in this which will add the fluid at the same time. 
Uh, so if we just really quickly pop upstairs and I'll explain that. No, not the crafting monitor. We can go, I want a recipe for uh, a simple machine frame. Go click. And you can see here it's got the amount of latex required. And then obviously we're going to need to teach it these other recipes to be able to do this. But I can do the same with the advanced. Same thing. And then these two recipes, again, I, I may move this, but these two recipes can be in here. And if we ask for that, it will place those items into here and we will be able to get that particular uh, machine frame. So I'm going to teach these recipes to the system in between episodes. I'm going to let this run for a bit and obviously we've already maxed out on liquid meat. I've um, got half, a, just over half a bucket, which is good of pink slime. That's what we need. Uh, liquid meat can be used for other stuff too, right? So if I go at industrial, I do realise we're pretty much at the end of the episode here. Uh, we can use it for like ore washing. Uh, and we can we can make mechanical dirt, but uh, in terms of anything else, maybe there's not much else we can do. Uh, but you can definitely um, process ores and duplicate using liquid meat. I don't have a huge reason for having this right at this point, other than making some pink slime. But once this is done, I may end up just shutting it down. Once I've got a bucket's worth here, I'll probably can just turn this off for now and then next episode we'll use the pink slime in here and we will make our next couple of machines all right thanks everyone for watching please leave those comments down below i hope you enjoyed the episode and i will see you in the next video bye everyone